pills. I just use this. And I think this in Belgium, this is very known as well, it comes with electricity houses. It is also in Holland we use this kind of conduit. Um, like John Cleese this morning said that you should play a bit. Well, since about I was 10 years, I'm playing with it. With this material, and I never stopped playing with it after that. Maybe we could start a piece of video to introduce my work. Numbers and their computers. Theo Janssen recently found another alternative for the biological cell, the electricity tube. With this, you can build structures very quickly. You can build arms and legs and subject to selection. Reproduction. Selection. Sometimes the selection and reproduction takes a side road by our numbers in the computer. Evolution goes faster in the computer. The result is that the artificial beast finds its most efficient way to move its feet. Eventually, these beasts are going to live in herds on the beaches. Terry Anson is working hard on this evolution. will not get their energy from food, but from the wind. The wind will move feathers on their back, which will drive their feet. The beast walks sideways on the wet sand of the beach, with its nose pointed into the wind. As soon as it walks into either the rolling surf or the dry sand, it stops and walks in the opposite direction. There have been many experiments. The knees of the Animaris vulgaris sagged a second after it was put on its feet. You could also say that the beast lived for just a second. Most species died out. For some, just parts are left over. dry sand. There's a chance that they'll get stuck in it. The Animara speculata was a little beach animal which remained connected to its mother. It was used as a scout in the dry sand. When walking cost too much energy, the little animal would warn its mother who was able to pull it out again. Another problem was the wind. When storms came up the beach, the animals used special tools to prevent them blowing away. 
The Amadora Carina rolled out a trunk. At its end, a hammer tried to drive a skin into the ground so that the beach animal was sick. The Amadora Sabulosa had a more secure way to prevent blowing away. It had a spoiler on the front, which would push down the nose. This is the Anamara's current bundosa.